Howdy, tube hubers. Well, Christmas. Uh, got some stuff today, and uh, usually uh, here at least in North America, the day after Christmas, um, a lot of stores have tons of sales. So there's like a secondary Christmas gift gathering tomorrow, and I'll probably do another video um, tomorrow night. So uh, first, um, the loot. What did I get? Uh, I got this cool killer clowns from outer space shirt right here. Right there. Pretty awesome. Love that. And also got a uh, Doctor Who insulated drinking cup. Pretty cool. Pretty sweet. Makes the drinks taste spacey. All right, now let's see what else I got. Ooh, man, glasses are filthy. Let's see. Okay. Got uh, this little here. It's a great for cell phones, a zipper pulls, and backpacks. This uh, little Cthulhu charm. I am a huge fan of HP Lovecraft. Um, and the wife knows it. So, absolutely cool. These are sold here in a little... Uh, the bookstore where I pick up Rue Morgue magazine has little things like this. So this will be cool because I've been wanting a pool for my hoodie. So, really sweet. Um, I've seen this before at a buybacks and uh, it was expensive. It was a different version. But, uh, I mean, this is just cool to have. So I, I, I really like it. Um, Walt Disney, Watcher in the Woods. I think that's really cool. Uh, but if you've never seen this, basically, um, Betty Davis is in it. When an American teenager joins her family in an English country house, house she experiences strange and supernatural occurrences. Miss Elwood Davis, a kindly caretaker, knows the dark secret behind the happenings and prepares for the return of a young girl who died mysteriously some 30 years earlier. Ooh. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Now I know this movie here didn't get the best reviews or nothing, but I thought it looked cool. Um, people were saying, oh, it's just it's a Men in Black ripoff. Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm one of the few people in the world, but I don't really like the Men in Black movies. I am not a fan of Will Smith at all. I think after Fresh Prince, he should have just been done with films. In my opinion. But I just thought this looked like a fun film. Um, I love big, dumb special effect fi effects films. So, R.I.P.D. Uh, Jeff, you know, Jeff Bridges is always great to see. It's the Blu-ray DVD with the waste of time digital copy that I have yet to find anybody that actually uses digital copies. So, I'll just throw that to the side. But, uh, yeah. So, R.I.P.D bombed at the theaters, but, uh, doesn't bother me. Um, let's see here. I believe when this came out, it was a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I'm not sure, but, uh, that's Green Lantern. Not one of the, uh, most, you know, badass, uh, superhero film films that have been made, but, uh, I still thought it was fun enough. I still thought it was really cool. And uh, this still book was in really good shape. Sometimes when you find them used, you know they can have big dents and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm a fan of still books. So that's pretty neat. Uh, next up, Private Parts, not the Howard Stern one. This is uh, the one that was directed by Paul Bortel, uh, Bartel, excuse me, who, of course, Lust in the Dust, Eating Raul. Um, basically, 
Check out who's checked in at the musty old King Edward Hotel in a seedy section of L.A. Cheryl, a runaway teen who hopes to piece her life together. Little does she know that someone at the hotel has a nasty little penchant for chopping people into pieces. Welcome, happy campers, to one of the screen's most bizarre works of camp filmmaking. Murder, fetishism, a dully aunt, a sham clergyman, corny cops, a peeping tom, and a guy who's a girl who goes night to night with a blow-up doll that has a photo of Cheryl's face taped to it. Awesome. Cool. Next up, we have uh, another movie that I thought looked really cool. Um, I'm a fan of uh, Alexis Bledel and, of course, Danny Trejo and uh, Sarah C. Ronan. I like her stuff. I'd like to get that uh, Byzantium movie, but I uh, have yet to see it. Anywhere to buy. I'd like to get that on Blu-ray. That'd be cool. So, yeah, Violet and Daisy. This is from the guy, uh, surprisingly, that did the uh, movie Precious. Uh, yeah, they're a pair of gum-cracking assassins who casually snuff out crime figures in New York City. Um, distracted only by the fact that a concert by their favorite pop idol, Barbie Sunday, has suddenly been canceled. Determined to cash... Determined to raise cash for a pair of Barbie Sunday dresses, the duo takes a new hit job, only to face a reckoning in the form of mysterious loner, claimed by James Gandolfini. Rest in peace, big guy. Um, catapults the girls into an odyssey far beyond the world of Barbie Sunday and bullets for pay. So yeah, I just thought that had a really cool premise. And uh, actually, uh, a DVD that actually comes with something inside? Whoa, it's really rare nowadays. You get a little uh, note from the director on there. And you get a couple different reviews. Matt Anderson from Movie Habit, Michael Shoulder from CNN, Jared Mobarak from the Film Stage, and Roy Frumke's Films in Review. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have Season 1 of Alphas, which is a sci-fi original show. Um, I really thought it looked like a really fun movie. Um, you have... All kinds of people in this show here. I mean, you have David Strathairn right there in the front. Um, you got other guest stars like Lindsay Wagner, Summer Glau, Brent Spiner. So yeah, I know season two of this is out. But I don't have that yet. But uh, yeah, so season one of Alphas, pretty cool. Um, this was a pretty neat find. I never actually knew this was coming out. I just... Uh, me and the wife kind of stumbled across it, and I thought, well, gee, that would make a good Christmas gift for me. And that's the uh, 25th anniversary edition Blu-ray DVD combo of Big. Absolutely love this film. Um, saw this with my brother in theaters, and it's just a great, fantastic memory. Uh, this is a two-disc set. You get, a extended, you get an extended cut, theatrical cut. You get a documentary, and you get like five or six other things in here. That's pretty cool. You open it up. That's really cool. It's just a really fun film. Uh, one, definitely one of my top Tom Hanks uh, favorites. Just absolutely love this. So you got the two disc. And it's pretty cool, too, because it comes with some uh, Zoltar cards, which is pretty neat. And they all say different things on the back. All things are possible. Your wish is granted. If your heart desires it, it will be so. So these are pretty cool. It doesn't tell you you actually get these on the packaging. So I always like when they throw in little bonus things like that. I think that makes it fun. So nice big fat package too. Really cool. Pick this up at your local Walmart. It's definitely worth having this movie. And uh, the last thing. Yeah, the last thing. Um, absolutely love this band. Uh, their former lead singer, uh, Taria Tarunin was uh, booted out of the band years ago, and they replaced her with a woman named Annette Olsen, which um, I was not a fan of. So I stopped following the band for a few good number of years. 
Um, even though with her they did release a couple decent songs, not albums, just a few songs that were actually good, but I think her voice was way too weak to carry this band. But uh, now they're back, and uh, hopefully stronger than ever, and that is Nightwish. This is their new double DVD, double CD um, release. Showtime Storytime. As you can see, it opens up. Pretty cool. And uh, you get the a nice nifty little booklet, which uh, shows the band. There's their new lead singer right there. Her name is Floor Jansen, Flor Jansen, something like that, I'm sure. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Rest of the band. So I've watched this uh, the concert part of this on uh, YouTube and really enjoyed it. Really glad that they got a new good lead singer. Really, really happy to get back into this band. Um, disc one is the entire concert, which is uh, 85 minutes long. And then the second disc, the second DVD, which is really cool, is a documentary called Please Learn the Set List in 48 Hours. And that is a two-hour tour documentary. Um, plus you get bonus music clips. Plus you get the two CDs of the concert, too. So really neat and nifty. So all in all, a really good Christmas. Um, and of course, like I said, um, there's going to be more tomorrow. Because we're going back out to the stores. We got the sell papers today. Um, I'm probably going to pick up Elysium at Target or price matches somewhere because they have it on sale for 15 bucks, which for a new Blu-ray is really cool. So there we go. That's the goodies right there, plus the shirt, plus the Doctor Who cup. Um, I hope everybody out there had a really good Christmas, got some stuff that they wanted, spent some time with their loved ones, which in the end, that's what's most important, not how much you get, but uh, who you're with on that day, um, friends, family, whoever it may be, the people that you're closest to. So, uh, once again, happy holidays to everybody out there. I hope the new year brings everybody lots of joy, lots of fun, lots of good times. Um, I will be doing a couple unboxing videos because from uh, some nice buddies of mine on uh, YouTube here um, are sending me and the wife some packages for Christmas, New Year's, whatever, and uh, we've sent them, them some. So, uh, hope to do some unboxing of that in a, I don't know, a week week and a half, somewhere around there, two weeks, whenever this stuff gets here, and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching everybody, cheers, subscribe, comment, um, and yeah, goodbye.